Hi, and welcome back to another motivational moment with me, your coach, Michelle. So for the time that is ours to share, I want to talk about stop making excuses. So it's natural for people to make excuses about why they can't do something or why they don't have something. So the next time that you feel the excuses coming up, take a moment and exercise these practical tips that I'm going to give you to pull yourself out of the exercise, I mean, out of the excuse, what I like to call black hole because that's really what that is just a black hole full of excuses that you can just pull out one every now and then when you need one and into a productive mindset so number one listen to your inner self ask yourself why are you avoiding the situation sometimes life will throw impossible situations our way and accepting them is part of the human experience it's just that simple sometimes we just need to look in the mirror and call ourselves out sometimes you have to look in the mirror and say whatever your name is you need to stop BSing and go ahead and make this thing happen because you know in your heart of hearts you're just procrastinating because you're afraid or it's this whatever this thing is is taking you out of your comfort zone call don't be afraid to call yourself out because if I'm your friend oh I'm gonna call you out love you mean it but I'm gonna call you out and say this is why you're not doing whatever that thing is listen to your instincts I don't know about you all but the older I get the more I start to listen to my instincts. And can I just tell you this? They never, they will never lead you wrong. Mm, that's powerful. Number two, set small specific goals as you work on your larger goals. So don't set large general goals and then let days, weeks, months, and years go by without seeing any, any kind of progress. Achieving your small goals will help your faith as you start to see uh, some progress. Stop making excuses and get out of, I'm sorry, get control of your life. So I said all that to say this, when you have these large generalized goals, they may look good. Do I have a piece of paper? They may look good on, on paper, but they're, they're general. They, they're just generalized goals. You, you need to niche down, niche down, however you like to say it, and, and decide what it is that you really want to do. Plan out the steps for getting each of those things done. Think of it as a door of possibilities. Think of it that way. Behind door number one, I'm going to achieve this goal. This is the main thing. And then underneath of that, you need to list out what you need to do to get to this main thing. And then door number two, when you open it, what is that goal? And then what are the steps that you need to take to get to that door? Door number three, four, five, so on and so on. How many other doors you need, that's what you need to come up with. And this is how you set small goals as you work your way up to getting to the larger goals. Number three, if others have done it, why can't you? I'm serious. If others have done it, why can't you? Far too often we spend way too much time dreaming and not taking action. When you scroll through your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn page, and whatever other social media platforms that you're on, and you see people doing great things with their lives, their homes, their jobs, their businesses, ask yourself, why is it that they've achieved the same goal that I want to achieve, but I haven't? And I guarantee you what you're going to come back to is they stepped out on faith. They started the process of getting to where they want to be. See, we're all capable of success. You just have to stop the negative, what I like to call stinking thinking, and go, that goes on in your head on a daily basis because it happens to all of us. I, when it comes, I catch myself and say, hold up, Michelle, stop, 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 stop it. We're not going there today. We are not going there today. Stop it. And you've got to cut it off. Just like they, they're achieving their goals, guess what? You can achieve yours and so can I. But you've got to cut out that negative self-talk. Tell yourself that you are worthy 
of all that you want to see, do, and be, just like they are. Number four, stop saying, I want to, and start saying, I'm going to, okay? So our words are very powerful. You know that. I know that. And we've been told for years that, that there's power in the words that come out of our mouths. Yes? So we must use them wisely. Stop saying you want to exercise more and start doing it. Stop saying you want to eat healthier and start doing it. Stop saying you want to travel more and start doing it. People that say they want to, you know I love the air quote, they usually don't ever end up doing anything. I'm just keeping it real. Change your words. Changing up your words makes a difference. Wanting to isn't, um, when you say you want to do something, it's not planned out. Okay, let's just keep it real. It's not planned out. And, and, and I want you to think of it as a dream. Okay, or something on your wish list. Going to, I didn't, I didn't air quote, going to, they're action words. They're two action words, very powerful ones. They represent a vision, a desire for the next steps, and a solid outcome of something. Take note of the next time that you're talking to someone or even you're talking and having a conversation with yourself. It's all right to talk to yourself. Nothing wrong with that at all. And I want you to take note and, and, and see if you're telling this person or if they're telling you or if they're using the words, I want to, or I'm going to. See, again, the older I've gotten, I start to say, I'm going to. I think I told you all uh, on a car vlog, if I'm not mistaken, that a year from whatever date that was, that I am going, it was sometime last month, I know that, I am going to be a millionaire. I told you that. I didn't say I want to be a millionaire. I said I'm going to be a millionaire. You know why? Because I have a plan to get me there. I didn't say I want to be. Want to be is a dream. Oh, I want to be thin. I want to be high school skinny. Okay, well, until you start saying I'm going to, going to implies that you're going to, you're putting those, you're putting one foot in front of the other to get where you need to be. That's all I'm trying to say. Number five, learn what you don't know. Sometimes people procrastinate and they make excuses because they don't know what the outcome is going to be. Stepping out on faith is the same as taking a risk and that's always that isn't always easy to do. So again, a lot of times we procrastinate with stuff because we're afraid. We don't know what's going to happen. Do you know how many people are very successful in their businesses and they say, you know, I wanted to do this sooner, but I was afraid to let go of my nine to five because I didn't know how the business was going to work out and I didn't want to get stuck. I didn't want to give up something for this goal, this, 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 this wish, this dream, and it falls apart and then I've got nothing to go back to. So, you know, it, it, we, we do, we all fear what we don't know. We see this a lot in making career changes, in relationship changes, etc. Embrace the unknown and start living your best life, you guys. That's all I can tell you. If you sat down and you've created the steps that you need to take to get to your goal, <clears throat> or tomorrow, let me say this, if you created the headline and then you've created the steps under each of those headlines, you start following the plan. It's just like when builders come and build a new house. They have a plan of what the outcome is going to look like, yes? And so they are following that plan. Now, I'm not saying that they don't encounter bumps in the roads along the way, because they do. But as long as you have a plan, honey, you can step out on faith and, and not let fear hold you back. Do you know how many people... I'm, I'm thinking of, of Les Brown again, where he talks about the person that's laying on their deathbed. And they were afraid. There were so many things they wanted to do in life, but they were afraid that they were going to fail. So they never stepped out to do anything. And now they're on their deathbed. And all the things that they wanted to do to be in places they wanted to visit, they're all standing around this person. And they're saying, we were given to you. And only you could have brought us to life. Only you could have done something with us. But you didn't. Because you were afraid. 
and now you are dying and we have got to die with you because it's too late at that point. And so I don't want anybody, least of all myself, get to that place where we get up there in years and we look back at all the things that we wanted to do and we say, wow, you know what, I had a long list of things that I wanted to do, but I was too afraid to step out there and do it. And now it's too late. I know sometimes we say it's never too late. For some things it isn't. But for th some things it is too late. So, start living your best life. Number six, don't compare yourself to others. Y'all, if you don't remember anything I say, I need you to remember this. When you compare yourself to other people, who, um... I'm sorry, when you compare yourself to what other people are doing, what you're doing is, is making sure that you never accomplish your goals. When you look at other people and you say, okay, well, look at Alma Jean, whoever Alma Jean may be. She's doing A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. I wanted to do A, B, C, and X, Y, X, Y, Z. Now you're starting to second guess yourself. You're saying, mm, I don't know if I can do that. Because she's doing it, and, and it looks effortlessly. It looks smooth. And now you start to second-guess yourself. And chances are you're going to end up saying, you know what, forget it. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go back to the drawing board and come up with some other stuff. So I want you to stop comparing yourself to other people. See, let me tell you something else that I know. When you compare yourself to other people, not only is it petty, but it's, it's, it's useless, and it, and it makes no sense. Because when you see someone getting in front of a camera talking and they seem to be comfortable doing it, you don't know their backstory. So anybody that's accomplishing their goals, and sometimes it's not even the same goals that you have, but just accomplishing their goals in general. And, and you start to get jealous and you're like, wow, they make it look so easy. Why is it that I can't achieve my goals? What you don't know is their backstory. You don't know what hell they had to go through to get where they are. You don't know how many doors were slammed in their face to get where they are. You don't know how many people yelled no at them, told them that they were never going to be anything. They were never going to amount to anything. Their idea was stupid. It was useless. It was ineffective. You don't know about all of that. So stop comparing yourself to other people because all you can go by is what you see in front of you you don't know the backstory okay so that's all I'm saying and your takeaway is this remember that failure is unavoidable okay it is inevitable that at some point in time during our lives we are all going to fail and let me just put a pin right there if you haven't failed at something already honey just keep right on living because eventually you will. Now, what I'm not doing is speaking damnation unto you. I'm just keeping it real because that's life. Life is full of failures. Imagine a world if all we did, we succeeded at. You would have no reason to change. You would have no reason to fix anything because you just, you just were good at everything you did. Failure is inevitable. And it's not always a bad thing. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to my notes. This is what happened when I get off on my tangent. Um, oh, and that's okay. It's all a part of life. Always remember that when you fail, you don't lose everything. See, failing at something doesn't mean that you've lost everything. Failure just means that you tried. I would much rather try something and fail at it than to sit back and wonder what if. Because that's a horrible feeling. You ever notice how sometimes someone will say, see, I knew that thing wasn't going to work out. Girl, I told you it was just wasting your time. But they have a whole laundry list of stuff that they want to do, and they're afraid to step out there and do it because they're afraid of failure. And you, you know what you do? You just look them up and down. If you wear glasses, look up top of your glasses and say, you know what? It's all good, sweetie, because guess what? I tried, which is more than what you've ever done. You don't try anything because you are afraid of failing. Or they'll only try the things that they know that they can win at, that they know that they'll be successful at. Anything else? Oh, no, 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 no. They're not going to do that. But when you fail, it allows you to go back to the drawing board to see what worked and what didn't work. And then you can keep going from there. 
You go back to the drawing board. You make your list of these things worked. These things didn't work. So guess what? The things that didn't work, then you just draw a line through it. Don't even focus your, any more of your time and energy on that. Go to the list of things that worked, and that's where you start to live. Figure out how you can do those same things, only take it up a notch, or a couple of notches, if you will. That's what failure does for you. It just gives you a whole new game plan to work with, okay? Let me do a quick recap, and I promise I will let you be. Today, we talked about stop making excuses, and too many times people we're making excuses because I do have my moments when I make excuses as well but I, I work on those daily as, as you should be working on yours but I'm serious you guys we have got to stop making excuses there are so many great ideas that you have that somebody needs there is something that you've been thinking about doing but you won't step out there and do it because you're afraid of failing but somebody needs what you have somebody's waiting on somebody to, to create whatever it is that they need and you are that person but but by you not acting on it they'll never get whatever it is that they're looking for and so I gave you some steps number one I said listen to your inner self excuse me you need to make sure that the conversations that you're having in your heart and, and up here in your mind that they are positive conversations and when that negativity creeps in because every now and then it will Put your hand up say, hold up, stop, not today, Satan. Not here, we're not having that. Listen to your inner self. Number two, set small specific goals as you work on your larger goals. Stop setting these huge generalized goals because chances are you're never going to get there because they're just too general, too broad in scope, and you have no roadmap to get to where you want to be. Number three, if others have done it, why can't you? If everybody that you know has achieved their goals, why can't you? And the reason why you can't is because of you. It's because you're afraid to step out there and take that leap of faith. You're, you're afraid to step out on a wing and a prayer. You're, you're afraid to, to ask God for what you want and then believe that it can be done. That's why you don't have it. Number four, stop saying, I want to and start saying I'm going to. The words that are coming out of your mouth, that's what's holding you back as well. Change up your vocabulary. Change up how you word things. So going forward, stop saying that you want to do something and start saying you're going to do it. Now, let me say this. If it's just something that you would like to do and if you get around to doing it, it's great, then that's fine. But if it's something that in your heart of hearts that you know that it is, is something that you've been sent here to do, it's a goal that you have, then I need you to start saying, I'm going to. That's just like I told you all a year from last month, I am going to be a millionaire. I didn't say I want to. Of course I want to, but I am going to. Because that implies that I have a game plan to get me there. Number four, I'm sorry, number five, learn what you don't know. We procrastinate, we make excuses because of the things that we don't know. But go out there and learn what you don't know. If you thought about um, planting a garden and you know nothing about gardening, I know I don't. You make excuses about why you're not going to get started. Oh, you know, this is just too hot of a summer. Or oh, I, I really don't have time. No, you have time. But you don't know anything about gardening. That's why you're not going to step out there and do it. So learn what you don't know. Number six, don't compare yourselves to other people. Stop doing that. You know, it, I'm going to tell you where I see this the most. When people are trying to lose weight and they'll look at Ruby or John and say, Man, you know, we started our, our weight loss journey at the same time. And they've gotten to their goal and I'm still where I am. Stop comparing yourself to them. You know why? Because obviously they created a plan for their weight loss journey and they stuck to it. And you and you, you know that you did not. You know you're eating takeout three, four days a week. And that's not going to get you where you need to be. And sometimes you're eating takeout two and three meals a day. And you're not exercising. So while you're comparing yourself to what they've done, and the fact that they've got to their goal before you, even though you all started at the same time, again, you don't know their backstory. Same thing with businesses, social media platforms, any of that kind of stuff. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. 
because you don't know the hell that they had to go through to get where they are. There are so many people that have successful businesses right now that had to more, uh, mortgage their home several times over. Some of them had to sleep in their car. Steve Harvey slept in his car. Les Brown talked about how he slept in his office building as he worked towards getting to where he is now. So don't compare yourself to other people. That's just like, here's a better one and I'm going to move on. That's just like looking at someone, uh, looking at one of your girlfriends and saying, oh, they have this great relationship. You know, I, I really want a great relationship like that. But what you don't know is when that woman goes home, she has to deal with so much hell from that man that says he loves her. He's either physically and or verbally abusive to her. You still want her lifestyle? Because you think, oh, her man is buying her all of this great stuff and, you know, uh, treating her like a queen in public. But go home with her at the end of the night and be a fly on the wall and see how he treats her. And then ask yourself, do you still want that? Same thing with that man. You thinking, oh, man, he's got this fine woman and I would love to have her and da-da-da, this, that, and the third whoop de woo but 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 when you when he goes home you don't know that he has to deal with that woman that cheats on him that's been a habitual cheater still want her as your woman that's why i said be careful about comparing yourself to other people mm -mm, not here and then your takeaway i said failure is unavoidable it is inevitable that at some point during our lives we will fail and that's okay because it's a part of life. Imagine a world where you didn't fail at anything. You have no reason to change because you're perfect. And when things are perfect, you don't change them typically, right? So it's all right to fail. So you don't lose everything when you fail. Failure just means that you tried. So when someone wants to point fingers out, oh, see, I told you it wasn't going to work. Ask them, well, what have you tried in your life? Hmm? You always talk about you want to do this, that, and the third, but what, what are you doing? Nothing, because you're afraid to try. At least you stepped out there and you tried. And you can go back to the drawing board and do more of the things that work and less of the things that didn't work. Mm. I got caught up there for a moment. But and, and, and doing that will allow you to move forward. So don't ever, ever, ever let any of the things that I shared with you keep you from being the success that you have been called to be that you know in here that you can be because I always tell you guys I believe in you I believe in you when nobody else does always know that thank you so much for giving me just a little bit of your time if you're new to my channel please make sure first of all welcome make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to tap that bell because I don't want you to miss anything that I'm putting out tune back in tomorrow for my next Christmas in July video and I can't give you the topic at the moment because it slips my mind, but that's all right. Tap that bell. You'll come back tomorrow and take uh, take a look at that. For those of you who this is not your first rodeo, welcome back. Welcome back. I missed you guys. You know, I love you all. I love you all because I couldn't do what I do without each and every one of you. I love you all to the moon and back, and nothing you say or do will ever change that. But most importantly, always know that I love you even when nobody else likes you. And that's a given. You can take that to the bank and always stand on that because that will never, ever, ever, ever change. Never change. Okay? So I want y'all to go on out there have a great day. And listen, if you can't have a great day, don't go fooling up nobody else's. Stay in your lane. Let people be happy. <laughs> but I also want you to be the reason that someone feels welcomed, seen, heard, valued, loved, and supported. Until our next motivational moment, take care.